Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today I am reading one of my favourite authors. I don't think I've read any of these books before. This is a Lindley Dodd book, author and illustrator. Absolute essential on your library bookshelf at home. You have to have a Harry McClary book somewhere. This one's called Harry McClary's Rumpus at the Vet. Let's see what the blurb has to say. Mischievous illustrations and rhythmical text by award-winning Lindley Dodd. So this doesn't actually tell you about the book, but it gives you a bit of information about how exciting it's going to be. And rhythmic means it's a rhyming book. One of my favourites. Let's see what Harry McClary is up to today. Oh, I like the napkin around him. Down at the vets, there were all kinds of pets, with troubles and woes from their ears to their toes. Hmm, what's a vet? Hmm, it's a doctor for animals. Sniffles and snuffles and dogs of flu, itches and stitches and tummy ache too. So many animals, watchful and wary, and Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. Wonder why he's at the vet. There were miserable dogs, cantankerous cats. If you're cantankerous, it means mm, you're a little bit touchy and sensitive. And rickety rats, mice with the sneezes, a goat in a cage, and Cassie the cockatoo locked in her cage. Oh, sorry, a goat in a rage, and Cassie the cockatoo locked in a cage. Rage and cage. Lots of rhymes to listen for. Cassie had claws and a troublesome beak. Mm, Got to watch out, especially if she's cranky and she's not feeling well. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a tweak. Can you use your visual clues? What does she see twitching and what is she going to pull? It looks a lot like Harry McClary's tail. Oh no. She pulled so hard that she plucked out a hair. Ow! And Harry McClary jumped high in the air. Oh no. I think this is what we call a chain reaction. Doing something to someone else may cause trouble. What do you think? Let's see. <gasps> a bowl full of mice was bundled about. Over it went. <gasps> And the mice tumbled out. It's going to be trouble. In a vet too. Oh dear. Four fussy budgies with Grandfather Gruff flew out of their cage when the bottom dropped off. Oh dear. Barnacle Beasley forgot he was sore. He bumbled and, cl and clattered all over the floor. And now the cat's chasing the birds and there's mice running about. Oh dear. Then Custard the Labrador, Muffin McClay, and Noodle the Poodle decided to play. They skidded and scampered, they slid all around, and bottles and boxes came tumbling down. Oh dear. This is, this is a problem. What a kerfuffle. A kerfuffle is like a mess. What a mess. A scramble of paws, a tangle of bodies, a jung jumble of jaws. With squawking and yowling and mournful meow, they really were making a terrible row. Oh boy, could you imagine the noise? Out came the vet. I'll fix them, she said. But she tripped on a lead and fell over instead. Oh dear, what a problem. Giza the goat crashed into a cage. He butted the bars in a thundering rage. Oh, he was already cranky. He's going to be even worse now. Cassie got mad. She rattled her beak. She saw something twitch, so she gave it a... 
do you think they're going to solve this problem in the vets? Because what's she going to do now? Set the whole chain reaction off again by pulling on poor Harry McClary's tail. You would think Harry McClary would have moved far, far away from her by now. <clears throat> Tweak. Oh dear. Poor Harry McClary. Do you think he's going to like going to the vets next time? My dog doesn't like going to the vets either. As soon as she smells that she's in the vets, she gets very nervous. Well, thank you for joining me on Carmen's Australian Storytime. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Don't forget to click and subscribe. Bye for now.